Man, we got some we got some good comments, good questions this week. I'm gonna try to make this a uh, a weekly thing because I know you guys come in the comments, and I do appreciate you guys leaving a comment and engaging with the channel. A lot of you have questions, and I will try and answer. Them. First question comes from Life is Good. I got a question for you. Big fans of the show, your channel is going to continue to grow. I have a question and your opinion. What is a good company for drivers fresh out of school in Philadelphia? Now, I usually get this question all the time, all the time. You're fresh out of school. You living in an area that you're not too much familiar with. You want to know what's a good company out of Philadelphia. If I'm not, if, if I'm trying to understand this, I guess, but all I could just say, okay. All companies are not the same. You, you just might get lucky and get with a, with a company that you may consider good. Okay, now what me, I might consider a good company you might not like. I, I could say uh, one of the black ops companies is a good company. But then when you go and do your research and come to find out a little bit more, you might not like that company. Then you'll come back to me and you'll be like, man, that, that company's garbage. Why are you promoting that company? because you asked me <laughs> that's why i mean for new drivers that's definitely coming out of school you you you're gonna have to just concentrate on just getting your experience and a lot of companies now the way things are going they're they're really picking and choosing who they want to bring on and a lot of companies like Variant, Swift, that used to just bring you guys in on a humble, they not even doing that no more. They, they, they not bringing in just any and everybody now. Just because you came out of school, nah, we ain't, we ain't gonna give you a chance. We, we gonna tighten it up a little bit. We got a reputation to hold up. So. All I could just say, life is good, man. Um, just get a list and just put down the different companies that have entry level positions, and then and then evaluate each one of those companies to your criteria and standards. If one of your standards is being home, you 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 narrow it down to that. If one of your standards is just to be out there uh, to learn, narrow it down to that. I mean, that's pretty much my thought on that, my opinion of it. A good company will be the company that you're good with oh y'all about to learn how to wash y'all ass the right way today because <laughs> i'm sick of it let's go on today's episode of bathing with a big back i'm about to show y'all some of the essential items needed when it comes to cleaning a bigger body now would be the perfect time to save this video or get a pen and paper the first and most important item every big girl should have in their shower is a detachable shower head preferably one that's high power because you won't need it. The biggest mistake that any big girl can make is thinking that our shower routines are gonna look like everybody else's. Make sure your detachable shower head got a long cord. Why? Because we got a lot of body to reach around. Now we got a lot of heavy lifting to do. Don't be afraid to pick that stomach up and get up under it. Get all up under it. Get in between them rows. Hello? The detachable shower head is meant to get in between them cracks and crevices. It being up here, wouldn't be able to reach. Are we here? Okay. Shower head in one hand, take your other one, spread that ass. Next, you're gonna need your exfoliating gloves. If you don't own a pair of 
get up now he's gonna help break up all that dead skin a lot easier than a regular ass washcloth with it if you somebody will be dropping the rag this is the time where you utilize how free your fingers are lather them motherfuckers up real good and get in there for any people who believe that this video is not necessary, you a hater. And you're really mad at the fact that that perm took out all your edges and now they refuse to grow back. Mind your business. I can't stress how important this next step is. In your shower, every big girl needs to have something that they can throw that leg up on. See that right there? Boom! Hype that big motherfucker up! When we walk our thighs grow. So that's heat being generated. That's more dirt build up. Which happens a lot faster than it would for somebody who was small. Now my shower a little bit tighter than I would like it to be. But you can bet your fat ass I be in here getting to it. I don't care if you gotta lean back. Pick that stomach up, shift it to the side. Get up in there. Cause I don't think y'all ever smoked up under a stomach that has not been washed properly. Don't find out by yourself. Just take my word for it. Please. And if this is too much for you to look at right now, grow the fuck up. Because that's probably the reason you walking around smelling like full milk and cottage cheese now. Don't piss me off. And last but not least, get you a back scrub. Why, you may ask? Because your back big as shit. And you won't need a middleman to tag in when your arms get tired. Personally speaking, my arm reach to body width ratio is crazy. I got little T-Rex arms. So this come in here. Hello, hello, hello. Now I hope y'all put what I taught y'all today to good use if you haven't been already. I love y'all. That's why I make content like this. Each one, teach one. All right, now y'all be easy. Big back out. All right, next up, man. Hey, listen, you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, definitely leave it in the comments below. You can hit me up in the Gmail. That's Lockout Man Podcast Guest at gmail.com. You guys can also hit me up in the DM over at Instagram, up under Lockout Man. This uh, question comes from T Rob Banks. I got a question. So what the deal with carriers letting you go? And other carriers saying they can't hire you until another carrier does. And you've worked with that carrier for at least six months. I was let go from Varian Trucking after five months. The company wasn't a good company as far as how. They treat people. Why should I have to suffer in my career because they let me go? That's a very good question. Why should you suffer in your career? Well, you got to understand, sometimes these companies, they got backdoor um, conversations. Usually they look at your DAC report, but you these companies now is owned by the same company. Like take Swift, for example. You worked at Swift. You got let go at Swift for whatever reason. And you go to night transportation you fill out an application with them and then they'd be like well who was the last company you drove for well i drove for swift oh, okay no problem or even if you don't tell them that you drove for swift they're going to find out that you drove for swift because your name is up under the same database it's up under the same database see a lot of you drivers fun fact a lot of these companies are owned by the same company did you that uh what's that company bynum bump bynum i think what uh no bar none did you guys know bar none was owned by night did you guys know that uh uh what's what's that other company um the green trucks I forgot the name of the company, but they're owned by night. Swift is owned by night. U.S. Express is owned by night. Night Transportation owns a lot of companies. Did you that Hirschbach has something to do with night? They might not be owned by night, but they have something to do with them. See, a lot of, lot of the times when you get let go by these companies, you got to understand what you're getting let go for if it's something simple or something that's not uh, a, a problem then you might be able to get in with the next company without it without an issue but i can guarantee you if it's a safety issue then yes it's you're going to find yourself uh in the worst position of trying to look for another uh company especially if you was in an accident it was if it was an at fault accident 
or anything like that because a lot of these companies only let you get away with one maybe two at fault accidents within that year whatever the situation was with you and variant and why they let you go you didn't go into too much detail about it but again like i said if it is a safety issue then the next carrier that looks at that they're going to at least want you to drive for another company safely for a couple of months and then you say to yourself self if i'm going to get with a company that's going to tell me that i need to drive for six or seven months and i get with a company that's giving me that opportunity to let me drive with them then six to seven months down the line why should i apply for the company that told me that i need this company to drive if everything is good i don't need to apply for that company unless it's a company that you really 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 want to get with if Snyder is a company that you really want to get with, then I guess what you probably might want to do is go to a black ops company because nine times out of 10, they will give you the opportunity. Then you could take that and go to Snyder and be like, yes, I drove for a black ops company a for seven months straight safely. Give me a chance. And they just might give you a chance. Now, I don't know why you have to suffer in your career because they let you go. But again, like I say, you just got to be careful of what they letting you go. Start by going over the higher right and see what's on your DAC report. Because sometimes seeing what's on, seeing what's on your DAC report would give you a understanding of what companies will or will not accept all right guys again if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that definitely leave it in the comments below you guys can get at me by that way you also can get at me at gmail lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com or you can hit me up in the Instagram at Lockout Man. Last question of this uh, Q and A session right here. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to name this, but I'll, I'll figure something out along the way. Now, this is a comment that was answering a comment, but asked a question within the comment. I guess if that makes any sense and ricochet tv yeah i got a question how do you get driving experience most companies require at minimum a year ot experience so how do you get driving experience with companies that requires more experience than what you already have well again if you're brand new to the game you're gonna have to get your driving experience with a starter company and there's a lot of starter companies but then again as i said previously these starter companies are tightening their belts so it's going to be a little bit harder for you to jump in to a starter company starter companies like swift knight uh us express rail decker um snyder those companies you got to look for companies that are offer entry level positions at those companies um a good way into doing that is go to driver pulse um put in the filter your new driver less than six months uh you're out of school and then that should come back with a list of companies that are willing to work with you and to help you get your experience with that said 
I hope everything works out for you. I do appreciate these questions and these comments. And again, if you guys like this type of session, make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff to grow the channel. We definitely appreciate it over here. We love the engagement. Until next time, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.